Hey guys, it's Greg Jones for Engine Builder Magazine. Today we're at the National Tractor Pulling Championships in Bowling Green, Ohio. I'm joined by Adam Kester of Minor Brother Racing Engines. Behind us is a 526 cubic inch Minor Brothers racing engine, and it's our Engine of the Week. Engine Builders Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pen Grade One, L Ring DOS Original, and NPW. Adam, awesome to see you. How are you? Uh, it's been a couple of years since we've seen each other face right. to face, but this weekend's been pretty awesome, and uh, it's mainly because of cool trackers like this that Absolutely. are going down the track. And you're behind a whole bunch of them that are that are out here on the, the track grounds. So tell us a little bit about this particular customer and, and what we're looking at back here. Okay, this is the Criswell Benedict family's uh, uh, blown scentless. It uh, utilizes four MBR engines. They are 526 cubic inches. That's a four and eighth inch stroke, four and a half inch bore. They utilize a PSI screw blower. This is a C rotor. This is the bigger of the uh, screw blowers. They're running them at about 120 over on the overdrive. They generate around 55 pounds of boost, and they make about uh, 3,800 uh, horsepower. Wow, wow, that's awesome. And so there's four of them on this setup, obviously. Uh, so in total, how much horsepower is this? We're around uh, 12,000. Okay. 12 to 15,000 out of each, yeah. depending on how they tune them up. Some okay. tracks uh, need more horsepower, some need less. Yeah. And what specific class is this uh, tracker? This is the unlimited modified. So okay. this is an 8,000 pound vehicle and you are capable of putting any number of engines, as many as you want and as much power as you can make. So basically as you meet a few requirements, it's no hold bars of what you can put on one of these vehicles. Wow, wow, very good. So Adam, tell us a little bit about specifically what you guys do for this engine package. You know, what, what all goes into it? So, um, the Criswell family here, they, uh, they've been long customers of ours. Um, we provide them uh, with the base engine from the manifold to the pan. They, they uh, pick their ignition, fuel pump, blower, injector hat combination. And we provide all the pieces and parts to keep all these runs. It's rods, pistons, crankshafts, valves. All those pieces come from us. Yeah. Everything is made in-house, intake manifolds, cylinder heads. Um, a lot of the engine pieces or the engine blocks, the front cover and stuff like that is what we provide them. Very good. And in terms of some of the other internals that you guys will select for a build like this, you know, what, what kind of brands of components are you using? Uh, we use Cowley's crankshafts, we use CP pistons, GRP rods, uh, victory valves, pack, pack springs, uh, Jessel lifters. Um, we try to use uh, Manton push rods and adjusters yeah. and a lot of the other components we make ourselves. Very good. Now, in a tractor like this, you know, what's the difference between a, a disappointing run and a, and a great run? You know, what what kind of what makes that difference of maybe 50 feet or something? Well, I think uh, a lot of it has to do with the setup of the vehicle. Um, talking with these guys, gear selection's big. How you drive it, um, hitch location. Sometimes if the track's really good, you might need to lower the hitch. Other times, you want to run it all the way up. Yeah. And just the overall tune of all four engines. Some of the dirt will take all the horsepower. Some of it you have to tune the engines for that. Yeah. I, now you mentioned the PSI blowers on this particular setup. Do all of them run the same boost number or boost pressure, or can, do those differ? Um, the PSI is the, the king right now because it produces the most amount of boost. If a guy wanted to try to put turbochargers on it, you could probably make more boost that way or maybe a pro charger, but yeah. for drivability and performance and maintenance, PSI is actually the easiest to run. Yeah, yeah, very cool. And Adam, you said you know a lot of the machine work on, on these engines are going on at your shop. Mm -hmm. you know, how long does a build like this take? To uh, it depends, you know, the... Um, uh, the cylinder heads, if we were to start from scratch, it takes about 24 hours to make one cylinder head. Yeah. The engine block, we usually can get those in about two weeks. Okay. Very good. So, and then pretty quick process, really. Yeah. Assembly time, 
If I have all the pieces and parts laid out, I can have one of these engines put together in about three hours. Yeah, very good. Adam, anything else about this 526 cubic inch engine that we're, that we're leaving out? Oh, uh, no, it's actually pretty neat what you can do with these engines. You can take the head studs off and the uh, intake bolts and you're able to remove the cylinder head off the engine without uh, taking any of the other components off the engine, which is a very cool attribute of our engine. Yeah, yeah, it certainly helps with maintenance. Doesn't Absolutely. It? Yeah. We try not to work on them that much, but when you do, they're easily accessible. Right, right, very good. Well, Adam, really appreciate the time. Absolutely. Great seeing you here, and we appreciate you telling us about this, uh, this tractor and the engines that you built. Thank you very much. Guys, we appreciate all you watching this episode of Engine of the Week. Make sure you're checking out everything that Adam has going on at Minor Brothers Racing Engines. And as always, make sure you're checking out enginebuildermag.com for more great engine content. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video. Hey, while I've got you guys here, I wanted to tell you about Find a Builder. It's a new microsite on enginebuildermag.com that's great for both engine shops and for potential customers looking to get engine work done. If you're an engine builder, this site is a place where you guys can list your shop and what you guys do to potential customers through enginebuildermag.com. It's an easy subscription-based microsite that'll let you guys connect to a new audience. And if you're a potential customer looking to get engine work done, this is a source to help you guys find a shop that's in your area or one that specializes in the type of engine work that you're trying to get done. Make sure you guys are checking out Find a Builder on enginebuildermag.com. Thanks.